Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is vector identities. This topic is from fifth unit vector calculus. The vector identities we will discuss one by one. Now the operator del already we have defined it. Its definition. Now we have uh, written the formula in previous lecture. We have discussed this notation del. I cap into del by del x plus j cap into del by del y plus k cap into del by del z. This is the formula of del. It is also uh, called grad gradient del phi gradient of a scalar point function. Phi is a scalar point function. It is a scalar. Del is a vector quantity. And so del phi it will give a vector quantity. I cap into del phi by del x plus j cap into del phi by del y plus k cap into del phi by del z. Rai J K are the unit vectors along x axis, y axis, and z axis respectively. Okay. Now the next vector identity del of u plus minus b. It is equal to del u plus minus del v. Now you know what is del operator. The first formula is of del. Del of u into v. The formula is u into del v plus v into del u. Then del of u upon v. It is v into del u minus u into del v upon v square. Then the next formula is del into a into u. A is a scalar, and u is a vector. So as a as it is, del u. Next is del of f of u. f of u is a function. So the formula is f dash of u into del u. Next formula is del phi. Del phi it is equal to del phi dot dr bar. Divergence of divergence of f bar. Next formula divergence of f bar is equal to del dot f bar already we have discussed the divergence of vector it is del f1 by del x plus del f2 by del y plus del f3 by del z del of f of r it is equal to f dash of r upon r into r bar this is the formula of del of f of r f of r is a function so differentiate it f dash of r is the derivative of f of r upon r into r bar this is the formula of del f of r then the uh, Directional derivative of scalar function phi is equal to del phi into a cap. A cap is the unit vector in which direction we are finding the directional derivative. Next is del dot f bar is equal to zero. If del dot f bar means divergence of f bar is zero, then f bar is solenoidal. Del cross f bar is equal to zero, then f bar is irrotational. Actually, we have discussed that irrotational and solenoidal vector functions here. Results are there. Then next is del into a bar dot r bar. It is equal to a bar. Next vector identity del into bracket a bar dot b bar bracket complete. It is equal to zero. Del dot a bar. It is equal to zero because a bar is a uh, constant vector. The com components of a bar are a one i cap plus a two j cap plus a three k cap. But in a1, a2, a3, these are the scalar quantities. So del dot a bar is equal to zero. Del cross a bar is also zero because a bar is a constant vector. So its dot product with operator del is zero. Its cross product with a bar is zero. Del dot r bar is equal to three. Del cross r bar is zero. Del dot in bracket phi of u bar is equal to phi into del dot u bar plus del into del phi dot u bar. Next is del cross phi of u bar. Phi is a scalar. U bar is a vector, so it is equal to del phi into del cross u bar plus del into sorry plus del into phi plus u bar. Next vector quantity del dot u bar cross u bar. It is u bar into del dot u bar into u bar dot del cross u bar minus u bar dot del cross u bar. These are the vector identities. These are the results of vector identities. We are going through the results only. Del cross in bracket u bar cross v bar bracket complete is equal to u bar in bracket del dot u bar sorry del dot v bar minus bracket complete minus in bracket u bar dot del bracket complete into v bar plus in bracket v bar dot del bracket complete into u bar minus v bar in bracket Del dot u bar bracket complete. Okay. Next property is del dot in bracket r raised to n into r bar 
bracket complete it is equal to n plus 3 in bracket n plus 3 bracket complete into r raised to n. Next vector identity is del cross in bracket r raised to n into r bar bracket complete it is equal to 0. Next property is del dot in bracket del phi bracket complete it is equal to del dot del into phi is equal to del square phi is equal to del square phi by del x square plus del square phi by del y square plus del square phi by del z square. Next property, next vector identity, del square phi is equal to zero is the Laplace equation. Then next property, next vector identity is del cross in bracket del phi bracket complete it is equal to zero. So del dot in bracket del cross u bar bracket complete it is equal to zero. Then curl of next vector identity is curl of curl of u bar is equal to del cross in bracket del cross u bar bracket complete. It is equal to del into bracket del dot u bar bracket complete minus del square u bar. Next vector identity is del into bracket del dot u bar bracket complete. It is equal to del cross in bracket del cross u bar bracket complete plus del square u bar. So these are the vector identities here. Now the examples on vector identities. We are going to discuss the second example here first, then we will discuss the first one. Show that del into a bar dot r bar is equal to a bar. Now here, you know the r bar is a position vector and the components are xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap. This is the vector r bar. And a bar is a constant vector and it is equal to a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap. Okay. Now the dot product of a bar dot, we have to show LHS is equal to RHS. So LHS is, or uh, in LHS, the bracket term is a bar dot r bar. So you find a bar dot r bar. a bar dot r bar is the dot product of the vector a bar and r bar. So the multiplication of i cap i coefficients j cap j coefficients then k cap dot k cap coefficients because i cap dot i cap is one j cap dot j cap is one k cap dot k cap is one so we have three terms already we have discussed how to find the dot product of two vectors so here the multiplication of coefficients of i cap a1 into x plus coefficient of j cap a2 into y plus coefficient of k cap a3 into z. So this is a bar dot r bar. Now del of a bar dot r bar is equal to, del means you find, you know the vector identity del. Its formula we have written, the first formula in vector identity is of del here. Del is i cap into del by del x plus j cap into del by del y plus k cap, in, k cap into del by del z. Now in place of this uh, second is del phi, in place of phi, there is a bar dot r bar. So in place of phi, you write down the dot product a bar cross, sorry, a bar dot r bar here in this example. So del into bracket a bar dot r bar. So I cap into del bar del x. And this uh, this is this bracket term is a bar dot r bar, a one x plus a two y plus a three z plus j cap into del by del y of a1 x plus a2 y plus a3 z bracket complete plus k cap into del by del z of a1 x plus a2 y plus a3 z bracket complete. And so it is equal to now derivative with respect to x a1 x its derivative with respect to x is a1. So a1 i plus a2 sorry j cap into derivative of this bracket term with respect to y is a2 because when we are respect when we are uh, Differentiating with respect to x at that time y and z are constant because this derivative is partial del by del x. Del by del y, we are differentiating with respect to y at that time keep x and z constant. So derivative is only a2 into j cap plus third term k cap as it is derivative del by del z of this bracket term means derivative partial derivative of this bracket term with respect to z. At that time we keep x and y constant. So derivative of h3 z is a3. So it is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap. And this is nothing but the vector a bar. So del in bracket a bar dot r bar, its value is a bar. So this is the result. We have proved that LHS is equal to RHS. Now see what is the first example here. 
first example is prove that del cross in bracket a bar cross r bar bracket complete is it is equal to 2a bar now here again you consider lhs del cross in bracket a bar cross r bar bracket complete it is equal to now we know the formula for del del cross in bracket a bar cross r bar and the formula is here in vector identities is the formula is here curl of curl of u bar if there is a cross product of three vectors then it is equal to del dot this is the formula 27 number formula we are using here cross product of three vector it is del dot r bar bracket complete into a bar minus a bar a bar dot del bracket complete into r bar we are using 27 number formula here now you know that del dot r bar its value is 3 this is the this is the vector identity del dot r bar is Three and this vector identity is seventy uh, number vector identity. Del dot r bar is three. Okay. So del dot r bar is value is three. So write here del dot r bar is equal to three. A bar as it is, so it is three a bar minus a bar dot del into r bar. A bar dot del into r bar. This is the dot product of three vectors, and its value is a bar from second example. del into bracket a bar dot r bar is equal to a bar here it is a bar dot del in bracket complete into r bar where dot product is commutative so the value of this second term is a bar from the second example okay and so 3 a bar minus a bar is 2 a bar and which is equal to rhs so this result is also proved now the next example example number 3 Prove that del square in bracket one upon r into log of r is equal bracket complete is equal to minus one upon r q. Now here, you know the vector identity del square f of r is equal to f double dash of r plus two upon r into f dash of r. This is a vector identity again. Here, uh, well, the ten number. Vector identity is del of f of r is equal to f dash of r upon r bracket complete into r bar. So again, if we take the second derivative of f, uh, sorry, if we uh, take del of del of f of r, then the formula is here. It is a vector identity. Del del square into f of r is equal to f double dash of r plus two upon r into f dash of r. This is the formula. Now here f of r is your One upon r into log of r. So you find the derivative because in formula we require second order derivative f double dash of r plus two upon r into f dash of r. So you first find f dash of r and then f double dash of r. So f of r is equal to one upon r into log of r. And so f dash of r is equal to now using u into v rule we can differentiate it. This is one upon r. Uh, sorry. f dash of r derivative of one upon r with respect to r is minus one upon r square into log of r plus now one upon r as it is derivative of log of r is one upon r now simplify it minus one upon r square into log of r plus one upon r square and so f dash of r is equal to one upon r square is common and the remaining term is one minus log of r okay so this is the first order derivative now the second order derivative f double dash of r again you differentiate this f dash of r with respect to r and so it is one upon r square as it is The bracket term derivative, derivative of one is zero minus log of r, which derivative is one upon r plus. Now the derivative of one upon r square is minus two upon r cube into bracket one minus log of r as it is. Okay, we are using here u into v rule. One upon r square as it is, the bracket term derivative is minus one upon r plus. Now one upon uh, r square, its derivative is minus two upon r cube. And one minus log of r as it is. Now simplify it, and then 
the del square of you put it here in this formula del square of f of r is equal to f double dash of r plus two upon r in f dash of r. So you put the value of f double dash of r here. It is minus one upon r cube minus two upon r cube plus two upon r cube into log of r plus two upon r into f dash of r. Two upon r into f dash of r is two upon r cube into bracket one minus log of r. Now I'll just So you simplify it, and so it is the two upon log of r upon r cube. This term will be get cancelled. Minus one upon r cube, and this minus two upon r cube. Minus two upon r cube plus two upon r cube will be get cancelled, and so we have the uh, value only minus one upon r cube. If we solve this, uh, simplify this bracket, uh, this term here in. Del square into one upon r into log of r is equal to this other system. If we simplify it, the answer is minus one upon r cube, and so we have proved it. Okay, so these are the few examples on vector identities. Using the vector identities, you can solve the examples on vector identities. And here the topic vector identities is over here. This session is over here. Thank you.